With more and more people starting to make cocktails at home to save money because it's come too expensive to go out as often, I think it's time to start looking at how to set up your home bar properly. Now you could skimp on some of the equipment, but for me, the better that you can make your cocktails at home, the more you enjoy them, meaning the more often you make them at home. If you just make a cocktail that's a little bit meh like that, there's less chance that you're gonna make it again. But if you make a cocktail where you go, oh, that's amazing, guaranteed you're gonna make that, you're gonna wanna make it again next weekend. And by skimping on cocktail equipment, I mean, instead of buying a cocktail shaker, you could use like a pasta jar or even a sports water bottle. But the simple fact is a proper cocktail shaker will help you make a better cocktail. And to use another analogy, look, if you're writing a letter, you could use a big fat permanent marker, but if you use a proper pen, it's gonna look a lot better and make your life a lot easier. So in this new series of videos, I'm gonna help you set up your home bars, but most importantly, do it on a budget, but with the sole intention of helping you to make the best cocktails possible. I'll be covering everything from equipment to ingredients without getting too pretentious or ego tenderish as I like to call it. I'm just gonna try and help you do it as cheaply as possible. Cocktail fans, welcome back to the Drink Stuff YouTube channel. We are your one-stop shop for all your cocktail needs except for the booze. So before you crack on and make some cocktails like this, let's try and set you up with the basic equipment. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you will have seen that yes, I do use more expensive cocktail shakers. I use more expensive jiggers and I use more expensive strainers. Why? Well, the easiest way to kind of help you understand is let's take cooking as an example. A chef, a chef is not gonna go into their kitchen using a knife that they bought for £2.50 to prepare all their food, prepare the vegetables and meat, etc. Of course they're not. They're gonna spend 50, 100 pounds on a good quality knife because not only does that knife give them better results. It also helps them to be more efficient, meaning they can do things quicker to a higher standard. And that's the same for electricians, carpenters, mechanics. The better the equipment they use, the easier that job becomes, the quicker they'll get it done. But most importantly, their work will be to a higher standard. Boys and girls, cocktail equipment is just the same. Now I'm not here to suggest you immediately go and spend 75 quid on setting up your home bar with equipment. I mean, I'd love you to, but there's no real need just yet. The simple fact is a cocktail kit like this will easily get you started. No, I am showing you a Boston shaker, what we call a Boston shaker, a two piece shaker. I do prefer them, way prefer them over kind of like your three piece uh, cocktail shakers. They're just easier to use. I mean, it is your call at the end of the day, but a Boston shaker, will give you better results, even the cheaper ones. So this kit uh, will be linked below in the description. This kit includes everything you need to set you on your way. We've got a Hawthorne strainer. We've got, let's call it a tea strainer. It's a, fire, it's a cocktail sieve. Uh, we've got a bar spoon. We've got some pourers. We've got a muddler. We've got a jigger and we've got a julep strainer. Now you could go that way, an all in one piece of kit. So you've got it all in one kind of tube. You could go that way. But even on this, there are two upgrades that I personally would make, even at a starter level, which means you can either source these ingredients separately or you can just spend a couple of extra quid on these upgrades. Now the first upgrade I would make is actually investing in a smaller tin as well. And that will replace the glass. The glass, while it does the job, it's quite a cheap. I actually think the t I actually think these tins are a little bit cheaper, if I'm honest. But the glass is a lot heavier, and you know it could break. You could drop it; it could break. Whereas tin, tin on tin, is a lot lighter, but it also has another benefit because tin metal conducts heat a lot better than what glass will ever do. Therefore, you expend less energy chilling and shaking your cocktails down because these will, these tins will get your cocktails colder quicker, therefore giving you a better cocktail. But even buying these separately, they're only a few quid each. Just gonna give you a miles better result than using the pasta jar, a jam jar, a, an old beetroot jar, a sports water bottle. These are just made for the job. And the second upgrade I would actually make, and this may come across a little bit ego tenderish, but I promise you it all helps to help you make a better quality cocktail. Because cocktails are not simply 
a double shot of this, a single shot of this. You get five mils, you get 10 mils and stuff. When you get used to sugar, you know, you might only need five mil of sugar or 10 mil or 15 mil. And while these jiggers in this, they are cheap as chips, they are perfect for your very first cocktails, they don't really help you measure accurately. Whereas something like this that I've sworn by for years, this is the Mezclar uh, Precisio uh, measure. This, hopefully we'll get it under close up. This is uh, a 25 mil, it's a UK, 25 mil, uh, 50 mil, double bubble. It's lined at, in each end. So in the, in the 25 mil end, you've got 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, and obviously to the brim is 25 mil. And then the big end, you've got 10, 20, 30, 40, and obviously to the brim is 50 mil. This will help you make better cocktails. As I say, cocktails are all about ratios and finding those perfect ratios, even on a daiquiri, even on a mojito, even on a sex on the beach or a pina colada. Sometimes you just don't need a full shot of some 25 mil. So being able to measure 5, 10, 15 mils of whatever spirit, liquor or uh, sugar syrup you're using will give you a better cocktail. It will taste better for you, meaning what I said at the top, the more you enjoy it, the more often you're going to want to make it. And the more often you want to make it means the less money you'll spend going out, which is the whole point of these videos. But as far as the rest of the kit goes, I think it is perfect starter. As I say, your pourers, your muddlers, your Hawthorne strainer, like this. You don't need to get all fancy and do what I do. You know, these are like 25, 30 quid things. This, for a couple of quid, will do the job perfectly. It will do exactly the same job as what that is. This just feels more comfortable to use if you're doing cocktails more often. That's all it is. But the cocktail sieve is perfect. The bar spoon is perfect. You've even got the little uh, twizzly bit so you can kind of twisted stem so you can layer cocktails, but it's perfect. The muddler is perfect as well. As I say, the only two optional upgrades I would do, have a look, shop around. If it's cheaper to buy stuff individually, do it. If it's cheaper to add that on for a couple of quid, and that, all right, that is a little bit more expensive. Forgive me, 15-ish plus, maybe, something like that. But as I say, it will help you to make better quality cocktails. Now, in the next video, helping you on your way, I'm gonna talk about something that's very often forgotten about or completely overlooked, ice.